Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for this crochet bunny rattle. Now you can use this as a rattling toy or you can totally avoid the rattling sound and use it as a teething toy. I really think that it makes for a really special uh, toy, handmade toy for your little babies. Uh, you can even gift them, especially for baby showers. It is a really uh, nice and thoughtful gift to receive as well as give. So let's see the supplies that I have used to make this one. So here I have used a cotton yarn. So this is your four ply uh, cotton yarn. Uh, this is a fingering weight cotton yarn and with this I have used a 3mm crochet hook. Now here I have used collar and a few flowers. Uh, you, it is optional. You, If you want you can add them or you can totally avoid them. Instead of that you can even use this kind of bow appliques. Uh, so if you are using that you might need scrap yarns of that colors. Um, I am not um, explaining the pattern for this flowers or the bow in this um, tutorial. I have done this earlier. So I'll put the links for the flower as well as bow in the description box. So if you're interested, you can check that up. So you will be needing some scrap yarns for the colors that you'll be using. I have used a dark pink for the collar as well as for the nose and mouth. Now apart from this, uh, you will require a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, very important uh, stitch mark now if you are going to use this as a rattling toy you might need a rattling ball uh, a safety ice so this I have used a 8 mm safety ice you get washer so that it doesn't come out so this is 8 mm safety ice now if you want to avoid uh, plastic completely instead of safety ice you can use black yarns and make the ice I have earlier done one lovey pattern where I have used a sleeping eye bunny. So if you are interested, you can uh, use black uh, yarn to make the eyes. So you can totally avoid the plastic and a teething ring. So this measures about 6 cm in diameter. Okay. So this is a 6 cm diameter teething ring. Now when you are selecting your teething ring, there are a lot of options there is a very cheap variety of wooden ring which is meant for craft so please do not use that you um, if you're making it for a teething toy this is going into the mouth of the child so make sure that uh, it is uh, tox uh, non-toxic and fda approved so just make sure that you choose the correct uh, teething ring wooden ring now, but and then of course you will need some fiber fill now i will put all the links for the materials that i have used and the uh, other options so that you just get an idea what exactly you should be looking for so these are the materials that you you would require now if you are ready we can get started with the pattern before that a small request if at any point in the video you like what you see please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing if you're looking for other patterns for kids babies i have put a playlist uh, and i'll put the link in the description box so now let's just get started so we'll start our pattern with a magic circle so to make a magic circle you take your yarn loop it around your finger like an x once you have that take this loop out now take your hook pass your hook through this circle here and pull your working yarn through so this here is your magic circle now if you want some more help with the magic circle you just click on the link that is coming here i have put up a very detailed tutorial on how to do the magic circle so here we have a magic circle after you do the magic circle make one chain stitch so chain one now we'll start a round one so the round one we are going to start with chain one and then put six single crochet into the magic circle so this here is my first single crochet one i'll have to put a total of six so this is one two three four five and one more six so we are starting with six single crochet for a round one so we have chain one and six single crochet we'll move on to the next round so for round two you'll have to put 
two single crochet in every stitch so there's a chain one you ignore that you go into the very first single crochet so if you see here this is my very first single crochet we have to put two single crochet into that same stitch so go there and make two single crochet so this is one and into the very same stitch make another one so this is an increased stitch so whenever we are putting two single crochet in the same stitch we call it as an increased stitch now at this point I'm going to mark my very first single crochet of this round so we have put two single crochet like that in every stitch around you have to put two single crochet so this is my second stitch I have put one single crochet here and into the same stitch I'm making another single crochet so like this I'll just go ahead and complete this round making two single crochet in every stitch and once you finish this this round you should have a total of 12 single crochet so I'll complete this and meet you so here I'm at the end of my round 2 and I have a total of 12 single crochet we'll move on to the next round so I'll just take my stitch marker off and we'll start the next round so the pattern for the next round is going to be a single crochet and then an increased stitch so we'll do that so into the very first stitch you make a single crochet okay and then into the next stitch you have to make an increased stitch so for an increase you have to put two single crochet into the same stitch so here I'm going to put two single crochet this is one and into the same stitch make another one so that is an increased stitch all right and mark your stitch so we have already completed three stitches so this was one single crochet followed by an increased stitch so I'll just mark my stitch before I move forward okay next we are going to repeat this make one single crochet follow it by an increased stitch so in the next stitch i'm going to put two single crochet so whenever i just ref uh, whenever ref i refer as an increase it just means putting two single crochet in the same stitch so i'll continue this pattern making one single crochet and then an increased stitch and once you finish this you will have a total of 18 single crochet for your round three so I'll just repeat this till I reach the end or before just before the uh, stitch marker so here I'm at the end of my round three and I have a total of 18 single crochet at this time you can just close your magic circle I didn't close it just after round one because if you do that the stitches will get really tight so I, I like to do a couple of rows before I tightly close the magic circle okay now we'll move on to the next round so the pattern for this round is going to be two single crochet and then an increase so it is going to be one one two that is the pattern that we are going to follow so into the first stitch make one single crochet into the next stitch also make one single crochet and then you have to make an increase i'll just mark my stitch so we have two single crochets all right and then we have to make an increase so into this stitch i'm going to make an increase that is i'm going to make two single crochet in the same stitch so i'll just repeat this pattern for this round making one one two that is one single crochet one single crochet and then an increase and once you finish your round four you should have a total of 24 single crochet so continue this pattern and i'll join you at the end of this round so here I have finished my round 4 and I have a total of 24 single crochet. We will start our next round. So for that the pattern is going to be you have to make 3 single crochet and then an increased stitch. Okay so we will do that. So into the first stitch make 1 single crochet. Next stitch the second stitch also just 1 single crochet. Third stitch also 1 single crochet. So you will have to make 3 single crochet before you do an increased stitch. So one two three just mark your stitch do not forget to mark your stitch so we have three single crochet and then we are going to make an increased stitch. so into this stitch I'm going to put two single crochet one and two so I'll just repeat this pattern making three single crochet and then an increase and once you finish this round you will have a total of 30 single crochet so I'll complete this pattern and meet you at the end of this round. 
So here I have finished my round 5 and I have a total of 30 single crochets. Now do note that you should always end in an increased stitch. So that is a good way to check whether, you're, whether you are doing the work correctly. So every time you finish a round, uh, make sure that you are finishing on an increased stitch. Alright, we will move on to the next round. So for the next round, the pattern is going to be, you have to make 4 single crochet and then an increased stitch. So we will do that. So this is one into the next one also just one single crochet I'll mark the stitch here so one two I have made two single crochet so far we have to make four single crochet and then an increase so two has been made this is the third single crochet and this here is my fourth single crochet all right so here I've got four single crochet and then I'll make an increase stitch so this is the pattern that we'll be following for this round we have to make four single crochet and then an increase so i'll complete this round and meet you at the end of this round you should have a total of 36 single crochet after this round so here i have finished my round six and i have a total of 36 single crochet we will move on to the next round and for this the pattern is going to be five single crochet and then an increase stitch so we'll do that so make five single crochet first so this is one this here is two i'll just mark my stitch okay so here we have made two we have to make five so one two three four and one more five so here i have put five single crochet so far and then into the next stitch i'm going to make an increased stitch so into this I'm going to put two single crochet this is one and into the same stitch another one so this is the pattern for this round you have to make five single crochet and then an increase so I'll just repeat this till I reach the stitch marker here and once you finish this you should have a total of 42 single crochet so here I have finished my round seven and I have a total of 42 single crochets now from round 8 all the way up to round 14 the pattern is the same we are not going to do any increases we are just going to put one single crochet in every stitch around okay so that is a pattern from round 8 till round 14 we are just going to make one single crochet in every stitch so this is my first stitch I'll go there I'll make an increase into the second stitch also I'm going to make an increase do not forget your stitch marker otherwise it will be quite a mess so mark your stitches before you move forward after that you don't have to count any stitches you just have to put one single crochet in every stitch no more increases just one single crochet make sure you have your stitch marker in place that is one thing that can just mess your project completely so i'm just going to do this making one single crochet in every stitch and all the way from round 8 to round 14 same one single crochet in every stitch and all of these round will have 42 single crochets so all of these rounds from round 8 to round 14 you should have 42 single crochet and this will fold up which is what we want so i'll just complete till i reach round 14 so here I have finished my round 14 and this is how this looks so far. Now we'll move on to the next round and from here onwards we are going to do the decreases. So we'll start our round 15. So the, for, so the pattern for round 15 is you have to make 5 single crochet and then a decrease. So we'll make 5 single crochet first. So this is 1, this is 2. You have to make 5 single crochet before you do the decrease. So I have made two so far. This here is the third one. Three, four and one more five. So here I've got five single crochets and next I'm going to do decrease. So I'm going to use two next two stitches to make one decrease. Now if you want you can do a normal single crochet decrease also but here I'm going to show you how to do a invisible decrease. So this will give a much more cleaner look to your stitches but if you want if you find this difficult you can do the normal uh, single crochet decrease. You can find that uh, decrease stitch here on this if you click on this link you can uh, find that tutorial how to do the normal decrease. Here I'm going to show you the invisible decrease. So what we'll do is we'll work in the 
front loops of the next two stitches so if you see there is a front loop here this is your front loop this is your back loop we will be just working in the front loop so this is how you do the decrease you insert the hook through the front loop of one stitch then just turn and twist your hook and insert your hook through the next front loop also like this so you have three loops on your hook now you yarn over and pull your yarn through the two loops you still have two loops yarn over and pull through the last two loops so this is your invisible decrease stitch okay so once this is finished you make another five single crochet i'll show you the decrease stitch once more so make five single crochet one two three four and one more five so here i've made five single crochet and next we will do the decrease stitch so we are going to use the front two loops of the next two stitches so insert your hook through the front loop of one stitch like this now turn and twist your hook and insert your hook through the front loop of the next stitch so you have a total of three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through the first two loops so take this yarn and take it out through the first two loops you have two loops again yarn over and pull through these two loops so this is your invisible decrease stitch so continue this pattern till you reach the end of this round make five single crochet and then a decrease stitch so i'll just finish this and meet you at the end of this round you will be ending on a decrease stitch here all right so i'll just finish this and meet you so here i'm at the end of my round 15 and i have a total of 36 single crochets we'll move on to the next round so for the next round the pattern is going to be four single crochet and then a decrease stitch so we'll do that so into the very first stitch make one single crochet so this is one this one here is two we have to make four single crochet and then a decrease okay so we have two so far this here is the third single crochet one more four so here i have made four single crochet next i'm going to do the invisible decrease stitch so we are going to use the front loops of the two stitches so we'll do that so into the first first front loop i'm going to insert my hook i'm going to turn and twist my hook and insert my hook through the front loop of the next stitch i'll yarn over and pull the yarn through the first two loops again yarn over and pull the yarn through the next two loops so this here is an invisible decrease so we'll continue this pattern we'll make four single crochet again so this is one two three and four all right so here i've got four single crochet i'll make a single crochet decrease stitch so into the front loop of the first stitch turn and twist insert your hook into the next front loop yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two so this here is your invisible decrease stitch so i'll continue this pattern and meet you at the end of this round so here i'm at the end of my round 16 and i have a total of 30 single crochet stitches now we'll uh, put the safety eyes so for that i'm just going to take my 8 mm safety eyes here and what we'll do is we will count um, we'll put the safety eyes between round 11 and 12 so I actually have already poked in and checked whether it looks good or not so I'm just going to put my safety eyes between rounds 11 and 12 so you can count from the top or from the bottom anything is okay so we we'll just count from here so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so between 11 and 12 i'm going to put one of my safety eyes so if you find it difficult you use your hook to make it a little bit bigger take your safety eyes and poke it in okay so this is where the first safety eyes is going now you have to count seven stitches and put the second one so just count seven stitches one two three four five six seven and into the eighth one I'm poking the next one so between them I have left seven stitches okay so this is how it is going to be you can just 
put the washer in place so the flat part there is if you see here this is how it looks so the flat part should lie flat on your work okay so facing this down push it inside till it gets nice locked similarly you can do with the second one so here the eyes are in place at this point you can start filling in the fiber you don't have to fill in completely just fill in a little bit because we are going to do a few more decreases and then we will start filling in the rest so i'm just doing a little bit of filling here and when you do the first initial filling just make sure that it goes really down and stays in place okay okay i'll just keep it like this itself and then we will move on to our round 17 all right so for round 17 the pattern is going to be three single crochet and then a decrease so we'll do that one second okay so we'll start the next round so we are going to make three single crochet and then a decrease stitch so every time you finish uh, we, are, we are doing the decrease rounds you should be always ending on a decrease so i'm going to make three single crochet so this one here is one two and three so here i have made three single crochet and then i will make the decrease so this one was one okay so i have made three single crochet and then you do the invisible decrease so i'm going to use the front loop of the next two loops like this yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two so this is your invisible decrease so i just complete this round making three single crochet and then a decrease so here i'm at the end of my round 17 and i have a total of 24 single crochet i've also uh, put a little more stuffing to it okay now we'll start with the next round so for round 18 the pattern is going to be two single crochet and then a decrease stitch so we'll do that so into the first stitch make a single crochet one and two so you have to make two single crochet and then only you should do the decrease so i'll do the decrease next so here i've got two single crochet i'm going to do the decrease so into the front loops of the next two stitches insert your hook pull your yarn through the first two loops yarn over and pull it through the next two loops so this is my single crochet decrease and i'll just go on repeating this pattern so you have to make two single crochet and then a decrease stitch so here i have finished my round 18 and i have a total of 18 single crochets now at this point if you are going to use this as a rattle you can put this uh, rattle ball inside so just make a small gap and push it in after that you have to fill in a little bit more fiber and if you feel that the sound is not coming enough you can instead of one you can use two balls also so i'm just using just one ball but as i said if you feel that the sound because anyway you are putting the stuffing here so the sound will definitely become lesser so if you feel that it is not at all coming instead of one you can put two and then put a little bit more fiber to it okay it's just come out i'll do the filling after one more round that should be fine okay so we'll next move on to round 19 and for that we are going to do one single crochet and a decrease okay, so we'll start that round so we'll make one single crochet and a decrease stitch so into the first stitch make just one single crochet so this is one single crochet and into the next stitch make a decrease so i'm just making the single crochet invisible decrease here now as you go on with the last two stitches the stitches are going to be very very tight so yeah it might get a little bit difficult towards the end because it's 
a very small gap and the stitches are going to become really tight so i'll just repeat this pattern making one single crochet and a decrease i'll meet you at the end of this round so here i'm at the end of round 19 and i have a total of 12 single crochet now we'll move on to the very last round so for the very last round you just have to do single crochet decrease in every stitch so we are going to use two stitches to make one single crochet decrease so we will do that so this is just going to be a single crochet decrease round so this here is my first single crochet you will have a total of six single crochet decreases once you finish this round this was one this here is two three I'll make three more and then finish this off. All right, so here I have made six single crochet decrease and at this point you can cut your yarn here and make sure that you leave a very long tail. Okay, so here I have cut my yarn and I'll just pull the yarn through. So that will complete the head. Okay, so here we have a very small gap. We will use a yarn needle to just close this circle completely. So we'll close this circle that is here with the help of a yarn needle. So I have attached a yarn needle here. And what I'll do is I'll go through all the front loops and then close this off so just pass your needle through the front loops only and then we'll pull it off so i'm just going through just the front loop of all the six stitches like this and once you have gone once just push it or pull it nicely so you can see that this is completely closed i'll make a small knot here Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll take the yarn and go out through a different stitch here. All right. So this takes care of everything. So our head is ready. Now we'll make the ears. So we'll start the ear pattern. And for that we are again going to start with a magic circle. So make your magic circle first. And once you have that you chain one so i have made a magic circle i'm going to chain one and here again i'm going to start with six single crochet just like we did for the head we'll start with six single crochet this is one two three four five and one more six so I'm going to start here with six single crochet and also the chain one that we had put earlier. Okay, so this is round one which has six single crochet. We will move on to the second round. And for round two, you'll have to make one single crochet and then an increase. So this is my very first stitch. I'll go there and make a single crochet. So into the very first stitch, make one single crochet and into the next stitch make an increase so i'm going to put two single crochet in the next stitch so one two one two is the pattern for round two so i'll just complete this and once you finish this round you'll have a total of nine single crochet so make one single crochet and then an increase stitch so here i have finished my round two and i have a total of nine single crochets we will move on to the next round so for round three the pattern is going to be two single crochet and then an increase so into the first stitch make a single crochet into the next stitch as well you have to make a single crochet and this should be followed with an increase stitch so the pattern for this is one one two that is two single crochet and an increase so i have made two single crochet and in the next stitch i'm going to put the increase stitch so here I'll put two single crochet, one and two. 
and I'll continue this pattern till I reach my stitch marker and once you finish this round you should have a total of 12 single crochet so continue making one single crochet one single crochet and an increase so here I have finished my round three we will start round four and the pattern for round four is you have to make three single crochet and then an increase so we'll put three single crochet this is one here is my second stitch two and three so here I've got three single crochet and next I'll make an increase stitch so this is the pattern for this round you have to make three single crochet and then an increase and once you finish this round you will have a total of 15 single crochet so continue this pattern and I'll join you at the end of this round so here I have finished round 4 and I have a total of 15 single crochet now from round 5 all the way up till round 13 you should be doing just one single crochet in every stitch so I'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch and you'll have a total of 15 single crochet in every round so I'll just repeat this pattern uh, making one single crochet in every stitch for all the rows rounds from round 5 till round 30 so I'll just continue this pattern and I'll meet you at the end of round 30 so just make one single crochet in every stitch around so here I have finished till round 30 next what we'll do is we will just fold these two together and then close this with a single crochet so what I'll do is I'll make you have now a total of 15 single crochets here and we are just going to fold this so that we get a total of seven single crochets so this one was the very last stitch I'll go into this stitch and the one opposite to it and make one single crochet go to the next stitches this is two three four five six and one last at the very end seven so here I have got seven single crochets here and we can now cut the yarn and make sure when you cut the yarn you leave a very long tail because we have to stitch this in okay so with this we can finish off our ears I've just taken this here and then we will fold this like this and then stitch it in so you have to make one more ears so I'll make that and then we will start with the ring so now we'll start the pattern for the covering for the ring here and for that I have first made a slip knot and I have made a total of 22 chain stitches once you have 22 chain stitch we will start row 1 so for that I'm going to just skip the very first stitch here and make a single crochet in rest of the stitches so skipping one stitch make a single crochet into the second stitch from the hook and then continue making one full row of single crochet and once you finish this you will have a total of 21 single crochet so I'll continue making one row of single crochets here so here I have finished one row of single crochets we will move on to row 2 now the pattern is going to be the same for row 2 up till row 9 so every row we are going to start with one chain stitch chain 1 and then turn your work and all you have to do is you have to just make one single crochet in every stitch so make one single crochet in each of these stitches and you'll always end up with 21 single crochet so I'll continue this pattern till I reach row 9 and once you have once you finish that row you'll end up with a rectangular strip okay so I'll meet you at the end of row 9 you just have to make one single crochet in every stitch so here I have completed the nine rows and I have a nice rectangular strip with me. Now what we'll do is we will first make the covering. So we'll take the wooden ring and we are going to stitch these together. So just have to place the ring here and I'm going to stitch these two. So I'll just take it to one side so that it is convenient to stitch. Okay. Now we can stitch 
you can use any stitch that you prefer to stitch these together so i have already threaded in a needle here so you can use the needle and thread this in and i'm going to go through the first stitch and pull out the yarn here like this okay now what i'm going to do is i i prefer to use both the loops both the front and back loops you have a v here and you have a stitch here on the other side so i'll go through both the loops on either side so i'll go through the first stitch and pull my yarn off come through this side and then use the v stitch of the other side and stitch them up together go to the next stitch again from this side go through the next stitch on the other side and stitch it up so like this i'll just go on finishing it till i reach the other side so here i have completed the stitching and i have reached the next end also before we finish it off i'm just make a small knot here and then we have to hide in the ends okay so if you see here we have got a very nice stitch okay so this is how this looks i'll just insert my hook you just make one knot so that it is just secured i'll push my yarn through a couple of stitches and hide it in okay so i'll just go through a few more stitches and then push it out you can cut your yarn here similarly you can hide in this end also okay so with that we complete the wooden ring covering okay so this is how this looks i'll just hide in this end and we'll start with the next part so next we'll see how to make the collar so for that i have taken 21 chain stitches now it is not necessary that you should add a collar you can add a bow or you can just keep it plain and simple but this is how uh, the collar is done so i have made 21 chain stitch next what i'm going to do is i'll skip the first two stitches and into the third stitch i'm going to work two double crochet so skipping the first two stitches into the third stitch put two double crochets so this is one and another one two the chain two i'm going to count as my first double crochet all right so here i've got a total of three if i have to count chain two as one double crochet Next, I'm going to skip one stitch and into the next one, I'll put three double crochet. So skipping one stitch into the next stitch, put three double crochet. So that will be the pattern that we'll be following. We will skip one stitch and into the next stitch, we'll put three double crochet. So this is the pattern you have to follow till you reach the end of this round. So in this stitch, I have put three double crochet. Okay, so in one stitch, three double crochet is going again skip one stitch into the next stitch put three double crochet so like this just go on repeating it till you reach the end of this row skip one stitch and into the next we are putting three double crochet so i'll just repeat this pattern and meet you once i'm done all right okay so here i have finished this row so this was my last three double crochets here we'll do one more row so for that i'm going to chain one and then turn my work and for the next row you're just going to put one single crochet on top of every stitch so just go and make one single crochet on top of every stitch so that is the pattern for row two and with that we'll finish off this uh, collar so i'll just make one single crochet on top of every stitch all right okay so here i have completed one row of single crochet and our collar is ready okay next we'll move on and make the nose and the mouth okay so this is the head part so this is uh, where your yarn is still attached that is the place which is going down onto your ring so just treat it like that so if you see here for the nose and the mouth uh, we have a total of seven stitches between the eyes so what i'm going to do is i i've already threaded in a pink color yarn here I just go and count three stitches from one of the eyes. So one, two, three. This here is the third stitch. Okay, I'll just poke my needle through it and take it out. I'll count three stitches. One, two, three. I'll go here. And then for the nose, I'm going somewhere around here to the center. I'll just tell you exactly how many rows down I have gone. So one, two, three, four. 
somewhere in the middle of the fourth row I have gone I will go to the center stitch and just come out from where I have started okay so that will complete the mouth and the nose so it is just going to be a very simple P kind of a embroidery okay now if you want you can go a couple of more times but I think I'm happy with the way it is looking I'm not doing anything more to it okay so there this is done I'll just make a small knot and hide the yarn inside okay so this you can hide it easily just go through the stitch here and come out of any other point so I'll just go down that would be better because it will be anyway hidden and go, come out from one of the stitches that is here similarly you can poke this inside and come out and cut your yarn okay so that knot that is here will be completely hidden you just have to thread this in again poke it out and come out from some other place so there are mouth and nose is done now we'll attach the ears so now we'll attach the ears to the head part so for that i've already threaded in the yarn here what i'll do is i'll take the ears and i'll just fold it in like this fold it in half so that we get a nice shape and I'll just go once through the other side and come back again so that the fold is in place okay so this is how the ears will be and then we'll attach this to the head so i'm going to count till the third to fourth row round so one two three four so between the third and fourth round is where i'm going to uh, place my ears somewhere here okay so we'll start that okay once get all right so I'm just going to find one, two, three, and four somewhere around here. I'll just place the hook, sorry, needle and pull this through like this. All right. And now I'm I just flip this like this and then go through the first half of this side. So if it is this is folded so i'm just going through one half from this side and then i'll attach it to my head i'm going to go round so that the ears is completely attached so this half is done i'll turn my work and then continue to attach the ears to the head i'll go around this So here I have attached this I have just gone once around it and I'm going to do it once more so that this stays in place so I'm just going to do this exactly the same way I'll take one hook from this side and then attach it to the hook go all around it and join it together so like that I'll do this and the other one also so here I have attached both the ears and I have gone quite a few times not just twice I just went about maybe five to six times and I've securely attached it and make sure that it is really nicely and securely attached because this is the part that is going to take the maximum impact it will be pushed pulled chewed so yeah just make sure that it is quite securely attached here okay uh, now if you want you can add a bow to it somewhere like this or you can add some flowers i think i'll go with the flowers here um, so i'll do that towards the end now we'll just attach this to the ring here so just thread in the needle first and just find the very center where you want to to go okay so this is where how it is going to be attached find the center
and here again I'm going to go all over a couple of times so I'm going uh, in a round I'll first take a few stitches from the head and go down and take the stitches from the ring as well so go through a couple of stitches from the ring and from the head going in a circle covering the entire head okay so I just finished this I this is how I like to do it So here I have attached the head to the ring and now we will attach the collar to it. So I have just uh, threaded in the needle here. Now as I said earlier you can use a bow also it will also look nice but here I am just going with the collar. Um, so this was the end that we finished I will just go to the very top so that we can just knot these two together. okay and then i will just rotate this go around and then stitch up the two ends so i'll just go through this end and join So attach this you can keep it open like this I'll just knot this down and hide in the loose ends okay so here I have hidden in all the loose ends and I also attached a few flowers uh, this is totally optional if you want you can add it or you can just skip it now if you're looking for the pattern for this uh, I'll put the link in the description box it is like mini rose flower with leaves that is the pattern I have used the same uh, flower that I used there and I've just attached it here uh, as I said you can even use bow if you want to or just keep it very plain and simple so yeah our rattle is ready I hope you like the tutorial and if you are uh, making this please do tag me on Instagram or uh, Facebook I'll put all the social media links in the description box so yeah if you are making it please do share with me your creations i would love to see them so that was the tutorial on how to do this i hope it was helpful if you found it helpful please press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing see you in the next video until then bye bye thank you